Hello Balloon World, I'm Mike Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and this time I want to teach you how to make a hot dog with mustard. This is a really simple design, and believe it or not, I get asked for this one a lot. It only uses three balloons, let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need a blush 260, a red 260, and a yellow 260. We're going to start with our bun, get your blush 260 out, and inflate it halfway. Let them out, and tie. You're going to make a section about six inches long, twist the seam there. Make another one that same length. So these two here should be the same size. And we're going to take that knot and wrap it into this seam right here. I like to take the knot and push it through the middle. Now I'm going to go up a section. I'm going to break it off. The way I break it off is I twist a seam. And then just like tearing duct tape, I have one hand go forward while the other hand comes back really strong. And because I've made a twist there, it's going to break like that. Isn't that cool? It might take a little practice. It doesn't usually take much strength. I let the air out, and now I'm going to tie another knot just to make sure it doesn't come undone on me. And there we have our bun. You can clean up this part here with a pair of scissors, but I usually just use the same technique as breaking the balloon. Just pull off the excess. That knot will be hidden, so we won't see it. Now it's time for our hot dog. Get your red 260 and inflate it halfway. Let some air out and twist off some section. So you have a nice healthy amount of slack because we're going to need that. So you should have a nice amount of slack on the end. Give the balloon a nice squeeze and a soft stretch. We're going to put it up against our bun. Figure out how much overhang you want. Don't use too much. I usually like to go about an inch or two. Then twist that off so you have it measured just right. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Now we want to make sure we have plenty of slack. So I'm going to break this off up high. Once again, I just twist the seam, and I uh, my right hand goes forward, my left hand comes back. I let go that time. You don't want to do that. There we go. Hold it on the seam. Let the air out. Tie the knot there on the seam. That's the tricky part. Okay. The reason we want all this slack is so that we can tie the two ends together. But we really don't want the balloon to bend too much. Just a little bit. Okay, now that I've tied my knot there, I'm gonna make sure it's... There we go. So you can see, I just have a little bit of a bend, but not much. And I'm gonna take the red part here, the unplayed section, put it underneath the hot dog bun. And now from the inside, I can pull it out and make it taut with the seam. So it goes right in the middle there. This will give you that nice hot dog shape. Isn't that cool? Now it's time to add the mustard. For the mustard, we'll be using a yellow 260. We want this one to be uninflated, just a little bit of puff of air in there, but we also need it to be long. How we get it to be longer is we're gonna inflate it all the way a couple of times, letting the air all the way out. Now I hold the in and let the air out, and you can see that's already longer. If I do it again, it'll get even longer. Don't do it too many times, because it'll actually pop on you. I'm gonna hold on to the end, let the air out, and now I'm gonna tie a knot here on the end, because that'll help me attach it later. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of a puff of an air in there. Just enough to give it some three dimensions so it's not completely flat. I'm gonna take the knot, I'm gonna wrap it into this seam right here of the bun. I don't need to wrap it in too many times. Then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna thread it under the, uh, under the hot dog, but above the bun, like that. I'm gonna wrap it into the other seam down here, right at the end of that knot. So the two knots are connected there and there. And now I have a hot dog with mustard. How cool is that? This will make anybody hungry, trust me. Well, that's it for this video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. And I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new balloon animal lesson. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe. And if there's something you're just itching to learn, let me know in the comments below. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even a hot dog.